Hey everybody, Steve from Markham Technologies. Here we've had a lot of great questions about the MX-7 GPS and updates and features that you guys have been looking for. And we've got an update to push out to you and we're gonna to explain to you how that works in terms of downloading the update onto your unit. And we're gonna turn the machine on after we've done that and walk you through some of the features. We're gonna start by just simply going to the website and putting the update onto our, onto our laptop. Remember, uh, PCs is what we wanna use as opposed to uh, Apple or Mac products. PCs is where the updates need to get pulled from. So we're gonna start with that. So all I'm gonna do is go to the website. Let's we'll start with that. Okay, so once we're here, we're gonna go to the support tab. We're gonna just go down to firmware updates. We're gonna click on that. And then here you'll see the MX-7 update. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just scroll down to the update. We're gonna select the update. There's some instructions, but I'm obviously walking through those with you now. You're just gonna go down to the update itself. You'll see it right here. It'll be red with an arrow. You'll click on that. You'll see a little zip file folder on the bottom left corner. You just click on that to open it, and you'll see the MX7 bin file right here, which is our firmware update file. We'll just drag that over to our desktop. We'll put that on the desktop. And now we can go to the desktop, which I'll do right now. So once we're here, we can see our file. It's right here. And we can insert a SD card, a micro SD card, that will then get installed into the unit to accept the update. So what we want to use is a class 10, uh, either four to 32 gig. So the range is four gig to 32 gig, a class 10. So you simply push that into your SD card slot. You'll see a prompt that it's there. Okay, so now my, I, my computer's recognized that I have uh, the micro SD in there. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna open up my files and I'm gonna simply drag my update onto the SD card. And now it's there. So now when you go into it, you'll see the MX7 update is right there. So now we have the update on the SD card. What we're gonna always do is go down here to eject SD card safely. It'll tell us that we're safe to remove the hardware. And then we go ahead and do that. So that's how you install the update. Um, now that we've done that, we're ready to turn the machine on and we'll show you how uh, the update features work and what we've done to the unit. So now that we've got our, our SD card that's got our new file on it right there, we're gonna just pull open the little side access port right here. And I've got my Navionics chip in there, so make sure you keep your uh, close eye on that. So we're gonna take that out. I'm just gonna set that right there and we're gonna put the micro SD into the machine to allow the machine to accept the update. So we're gonna turn this on now and we'll fire up the machine and we'll have you take a look at the prompts as to what you're gonna see when you do this. So the machine will take a little bit of time to recognize it once it recognizes that the update's there. It will uh, prompt us to do that and then we'll just follow the step-by-step -step instructions with a couple keystrokes to allow that update to get loaded onto the machine. So we can see our MX-7 GPS updater prompt. We're gonna press the plus button to proceed. It says, are you sure? So we can't mess this up. We wanna go ahead and do that. Once we do that, the update started and it'll prompt once the update's complete and you will he hear the beep as well. After that, you'll see the X to power down. We'll go ahead and do that now. And now the unit's off. Now make sure at this point, you're gonna go ahead and remove the card that you performed the update on because if you keep it in there and turn the machine on again, it's gonna essentially ask you to do that again and we don't need to do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna simply put this um, Navionics card back in there. I'll be ready to go. I'll put that nice protective cover back on there like that and we'll fire the unit 